What's going on YouTube? This here is my new aeroponic garden. And the way this sucker works is I've got a bucket, obviously, and I've got some water in the bottom of the bucket. I've got a small pump with a sprinkler head on there and it's spraying the bottom side of these little cups where I drilled holes and put these little uh, hydroponic uh, cups inside there. And what it's doing is uh, spraying the bottom side of these cups. So whenever I put uh, my seed starts, which is what I think I'm going to use, throw them in there, it's pretty much going to water them, and it'll be on a timer, and it'll water them for uh, a certain amount of time, turn off, let them dry out for a certain amount of time, and then turn back on, water them, and back off. So let's get to how I built this thing, which isn't that hard and I pretty much had most of the parts laying around so all I had to do was uh, take apart some things uh, clean a few things put a couple things back together and voila now I've got this contraption which I can't wait to see if this is gonna be a good design or not I was actually on YouTube and was searching around and actually found a video where I saw someone that did something pretty much the same way and uh, figured man I can do that and it was something that was called aeroponics and I'm all about the ponics except for the hydroponics because I think that's kind of a waste with uh, the water there changing it out every week adding nutrients and all that stuff finding natural organic stuff since I try to stay uh, organic and uh, but I love aquaponics obviously if you watch my videos so I decided to go ahead and uh, build an aeroponic system so this is how I'm gonna do it. I've got a five gallon bucket here. I've got some of these uh, hydroponic uh, cups. They are two inches, uh, which means they are two inches this way and they're two inches this way. Um, and they're tapered, obviously. Uh, I've got a few of those. I have, uh, you can get these on eBay. They're uh, pretty darn cheap. They um, I can't remember exactly how much they were. They were like uh, six, seven dollars for fifty, a uh, hundred of them for like thirteen bucks or twelve bucks or yeah, twelve sixty-eight or something like that. Just Google on uh, YouTube for hydroponic cups, and you'll find these guys. Um, they're pretty cheap. So that's where all of your uh, plants are going to be sitting on the top, and then I've got my pump here from my sand filter which I've disconnected which that's why we're doing this video inside because it is freaking cold outside well it's not that cold it's like 30 32 degrees something like that but we're getting snow again and um, figured I'd just go ahead and do this one indoors since I can but uh, so I pulled this pump off of my sand filter if you've seen my previous videos uh, I'll throw a link to it right there and uh, I used this pump to pump the water and this is exactly how I was doing it it was pretty much just this little goofy fitting here and um, it just fit right into the pump I found a piece of um, I think this is half inch uh, funny pipe and just put that sucker right on there it fit and then got a uh, sprinkler um, connection and put that sucker in, which is mill, right into CP or uh, PVC. I'm sorry, half inch. And out of that, that was pretty much the top of the bucket, if you remember the whole video. And then I ran the pipe up, and it went into the sand filter and everything. So with this one, I'm going to go ahead and ditch all of this design. And um, actually, I'm going to just use a little tiny piece of uh, funny pipe here, and. Go ahead and get that sucker on there. And that will go ahead and hold that on there. And then what I did was I got a sprinkler uh, head that I just had sitting around. It's a 360, so it sprays 360 all the way around. Um, just regular half inch uh, threads on the bottom. Um, but I was looking into it, I got a half inch so I could screw this in. I even pulled a filter from one of the other uh, uh, sprinklers that I had and I was actually gonna put this in it's it goes in this way it's a design so all the crap gets in there but it usually just goes all the way to the base 
and that way you still have room for the water to be going through even though it's filtering out all the crap that it caught until it really gets bad and then you've really got to clean it out and I was just gonna put this sucker in there like that and screw it in I didn't know how I was gonna transition this I really didn't want to use this and go that high because I mean look how high we are I wanted this to kind of sit low so what I did was I'm just gonna open this sucker up and uh, pretty much get rid of this section here I'll just hold on to that in case I break any other uh, sprinkler heads that I have and if you unscrew the head here you can get rid of all this you don't need that anymore and also if you tap it you also have a screen in there which is a lot longer than the other one just put that sucker back in there we'll take this screw it back in which is a 360 design so it should be spraying the entire way around uh, and up and luckily for me this sucker actually just fits perfect right down on top of there so I'm just gonna go ahead and push it down as far as I can um, giving it a little bit of pressure going up doesn't really want to go off uh, doesn't want to pull off that is uh, so and it's open as wide as it can so it's gonna be sucking in as much water as it can and pushing out as much water as it can because all we're gonna do is set this sucker inside this bucket and it'll be pretty much sitting down here at the bottom and these cups will be sitting at the very top of the bucket and uh, of the bucket <laughs> and they'll be sitting up here in the lid and uh, pretty much it'll be spraying the water onto uh, the baskets that'll have little peat pods and that's how I'm gonna start my plants this year see if that works next part I did was think well how the heck am I gonna get these peat uh, cups in there so what I did was I grabbed my hole saws I've got uh, one and three quarter and I've got two inch and like I said these are two inches but the problem is they are almost exactly the same size as the cup so what I did was I just took a piece of cardboard and decided to make a template I drilled one with a two inch one with the one and three quarters and saw what I got and with the two inch they were like just borderline add a little weight to it and it's probably just gonna fall right through so I decided to go with the one and three quarters even though that's only to here when you put one of those little peat pods in there that pretty much is gonna block the overspray from getting out of the bucket because it's gonna be shooting uh, the underside here I mean you'll be looking at it this way and it'll be shooting the underside with water and the idea is to get that whole peat pod wet well it right about that area it's pretty much perfect in there and I'm guessing at that so once we get this uh, completely together we'll see if I'm actually correct there but uh, let's go for it the next thing I did was I went ahead and took the bucket lid which again this is a five gallon chlorine bucket and uh, of course three inch tabs um, it's just something I had laying around this actually I kind of thought about it in advance not this exact project but just using it for anything organic I've had water sitting in that in the Sun for oh um, well about nine months now and it literally has been sitting outside freezing in the snow that we've been getting lately and baking in the Sun all summer long and uh, it actually had a little algae in the bottom of it I completely cleaned it out uh, nice soapy water and everything and got this pretty much ready to go I did the exact same with the lid and I took my inch and three-quarter uh, hole saw and I went ahead and drilled a bunch of holes all in there and uh, I had uh, if you remember from my previous video with the filter that I made it wasn't with this bucket but it was with this lid I had a uh, it was pretty much like a one inch hole that was drilled in here and I don't know if anybody's ever tried to use a hole saw like this to try to drill when you already have a hole <laughs> it's fun and the best thing to do which I didn't do I pretty much just winged it but uh, the best thing if you ever do have something like that get a small piece of like plywood to put over top of it and a piece of wood on the bottom side and drill through the wood and then it'll pretty much like drill uh, like a drill press right into uh, the hole that you want to make so just a little tip there I didn't use that method but uh, mine worked out pretty good I got 11 holes out of here 
I got 10 on the outer ring and obviously one in the center. And uh, they're not the most, uh, they're not the perfect fit here, but uh, it pretty much works out pretty good. Now we've got the cups and they're gonna be holding the little peak cups, which will be right there, which uh, actually is gonna have a little splash out. But um, you can see that that's pretty much like the whole design. Just gonna pop them all in there, put the bucket lid on. We're gonna have the sprinkler design with the pump at the bottom there, and it's gonna be spraying 360, hitting the underside of these guys, and pretty much keeping them wet. I'm gonna have it also on a timer, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get this timer to work because uh, I was gonna do 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, but I don't know if I can actually do that with the little dowels on here. So I'm probably gonna do whatever these little increments are. Probably do one of those on, one of those off, one of those on, one of those off, and see if that works. If it isn't enough, maybe I'll bump it up to two on, two off, or two on, one off, or something like that. But either way, I'm gonna do that. So that's the whole plan. Let's get this sucker assembled and see how it sprayed. And the other uh, problem that I was having is how am I going to get the power cord out of here? Um, that one, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, uh, I think a smart idea would probably be maybe uh, take the center one or any of them and just cut a small little section out so I can pull the cord through and then just kind of push it over so it's like exact fit kind of thing. All right, well, the next step is to get uh, this under the bucket, uh, see if it actually sprays, and uh, adjust uh, how much water intake I need uh, for the sprayage, and see if it actually will be spraying out of the bucket. So let's get to that test. Well, the next step was to come out here into the garage and uh, to go ahead and hook this sucker up and see how it worked. I started off with it on... Um, the least or the most in, uh, obstructive of the uh, impeller, which would be low power, and turned it all the way up to the least obstructive, and uh, which would be the high power. And this is pretty much the result. Uh, varied a little bit. I adjusted the sprinkler head, that little tiny screw you can see on the very top of there. I went ahead and adjusted that all the way down, back up, uh, tested it all out. This is about as best as I could get it with this uh, with this setup so that's almost about how much I'm gonna need uh, as you can see there's water around the outside of the bucket because I've been testing it and everything and that's pretty much all I need for those little peat pellets but I want to have a little bit of a higher uh, reach so I'm gonna go ahead and extend uh, the one piece that you saw earlier the phony pipe I'm going to go ahead and put this piece in there just to give it a little bit more lift and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just removed this part out of the pump and this was uh, right into here and this piece was on top of here just like before. So we're just going to drop that out of here and we're going to go ahead and use this uh, longer piece of pipe which actually is about double the length that um, the other one was. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there insert that give us uh, I don't know well, it'll give us a little bit of a riser right there so let's go ahead and see uh, how high we can get this sucker all right well we got that new riser installed there let's see how much higher we can get this thing going uh, not centered but uh, I don't know I think that'll work there's a uh, awful lot of water coming out of the bucket so I'm pretty sure that's uh, gonna work this has been working pretty darn good, and I think it, uh, I think it's going to work really good as long as I get a cover on there <laughs> so it doesn't splash out. And uh, I don't know. I'll be posting some uh, further videos soon, so stay tuned. Till then, later.